Hare Krishna. As long as we hide behind ourselves, we can't challenge ourselves. Suppose we are afraid of some people and then we have some person who protects us. Now that person may themselves, the protector may also be abusive or exploitative or doing questionable actions. But if we hide behind them because we feel that we need their protection, then we can't challenge them. We can't afford to annoy them because then we will be left unprotected. So just as we cannot challenge someone whose shelter we take. Similarly, the same dynamic applies within us also. If we hide behind ourselves, then we can't challenge ourselves. Now, what does hiding behind ourselves means? That means that there is a real us. There's a real me and the real me may have some weaknesses, may have some shortcomings, may have some defects and deficiencies. And this real me feels threatened by the world's criticism, by the world's um, judgment. And then this real me hides behind a depicted me, a portrayed me. So that, that, that public me is the public profile of us, wherein we hide our deficiencies and defects and pretend to be someone very smart, very confident, very, very captivating. And if it's in the spiritual circles where detachment from the world is often valued, then the, the me that I may put in front of the world might be a very detached and renounced me. So the real me is attached, but the public persona of me is acts detached. And as long as this is the public persona that we are putting and we are hiding behind that, then we can't challenge that public persona. So because of that, now what is not challenged can't be changed. That means if you are hiding behind and then we can't really challenge and change ourselves. So the Bhagavad Gita talks about this phenomena when it says actually in 3.6 Karmendriyani Sanyamya Ya Asate Manasasmaran Indriyarthan Vimudhatma Mithyacharaha Sa Uchate Karmendriyani Sanyamya so somebody, somebody might control the senses of actions that means one is not physically engaging with the sense object but yasate manasasmaran one is cultivating fantasies of enjoying the sense objects in one's mind and then mithyacharasa uchyate such a person is not acting truly is not doing sadachar is doing mithyachar is being hypocritical indriyarthan vimudhatma such a person they think that they are fooling others but they are fooling themselves. Why? Because they are depriving themselves of genuine spiritual advancement. So if we think that we can get away by just putting on a nice face before the world, yeah, we might put on that nice face, but actually we are not getting away with it. Rather, we are going away with it. That means we are deprived of authentic spiritual advancement we are deprived of a genuine connection with Krishna that can come when we sincerely call out for his mercy and meditate, meditate on him. And thus, the, the, the me that we put in front of the world blocks us from becoming a purer and better me. And we can't challenge that me and thus we stay trapped by our image. So rather than working to build our image, we can work to build our character. And that doesn't mean that we have to confess our wrongs to the world. All that we need to do is recognize that the image is not who I am. We, we don't have the misconception that I am the image. And we work honestly and sincerely to improve the I who we are. And as we practice bhakti, apply ourselves diligently to the practice of bhakti, we will become purified. We will become enriched and satisfied in Krishna. Thank you.
हरे कृष्णा